Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and today we're going to be modifying another lore car, but it, you know, is in the game. It's called the, I believe I'm pronoun pronouncing it correctly, I can't even say the word pronounce, the Trafad Nero Per Sport, which is obviously based off of the uh, Bugatti uh, Chiron. Chiron? Is that how you say it? Man, these cars, when they come out with these names and people correct you on the pronunciations, it's like, dude... Lamborghini is hard enough, uh, so when they come out with the special models following, I, I mean, I guess once, uh, you know, you get it down, you get it down, but for me, I just don't talk about these types of hypercars enough, so let's get this car, and here we're going to get it modified, okay. and I, I think this is going to be a rather difficult car to modify, and if you're wondering why, it's very simple. Because there are so many options on it, it is so elegant that it's like you want to have it in all these different colors and you want the carbon fiber bits on it and you want this and that. And then you're like, ah, oh, but it, it looks better in, um, in a more simplistic way. So let's see, let's see what we have here. I like the carbon fiber behind the window. What are my, uh, what are arch covers? Where, what am I looking at here? Let's see if anything changes. We're gonna go around and, and see if anything changes on the car that we can identify. It, the diffuser? Is that it there? In the back? Okay. There it is. So, I mean, maybe we can revisit the, the pinstripe diffuser. Not sure yet. The engine, of course, we have That's to upgrade it. Man, they still don't know that the engine is in the back. The chassis. Painted trim. Well, it depends. It depends what uh, we're going to go with. Uh, right wing. Okay, you know what? I will do a two-tone. And I hate to say it, maybe we will uh, dispense with all of the carbon fiber. Because I, I do that with a lot of the builds. And everybody likes carbon fiber. But maybe we'll do something a little more... Uh, Bugatti-ish. Front bumpers. Yeah, for once in my life, I'm gonna get rid of the carbon fiber, and we're gonna have more fun uh, with just making it uh, modified differently. Though, the back should be carbon fiber. I think that that is at least purposeful. Now, the brakes. Okay, what do we have for the fenders? Yeah, again, the mirrors can look that way. The grill. You know what? Believe it or not, chrome grill. The chrome grill d does not look that bad, but we'll, we'll go with the black one. Stripeless bonnet. No, we'll have a little That's tinted it. stripe. And I think the reason why, or rather, I know the reason why, they refer to it as tinted and not painted is because I'm pretty sure that's the way you order these cars, like these hypercars in the real world, which is a multi-thousand dollar option, probably tens of thousands of dollars, where it's not like, no, 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 we painted over it. I think they consider it tinted. Wow, look at these wings, man. Hypercars always have the craziest wings, don't they? Yeah, it is tinted. You can see that it uh, it's still carbon fiber. We can do that, no big deal. I think what I'm looking at is blue. It's not it's not white right now. Okay, the suspension. I'll close the wheel gap a little. It doesn't need to be. Okay, maybe one more. The transmission, she's jacked. Uh, what am I looking at here? Remove the rear plate. No, there's no need for that. The windows, okay. We'll definitely do dark smoke. Now... On to the fun part. We can do the wheels later, although usually stock wheels on these cars look the best. But let's do... Goodness gracious, man. I don't know who did the mod for this car. Obviously, it'll be linked in the description, so you'll be able to see. But there's something about the paintwork on it. And I don't think I'm overstating it, where it just looks... I mean, it, like, if GTA really did have higher quality hypercars, it looks like they managed to nail it. There's something that is so much more um, sophisticated about 
this vehicle. It looks, I don't know, man. The paint just looks like it's a step above. That is a bad, badass looking car, but we're not going to do that because I don't think it wants to be green. Okay, I'm going to pick this color blue. And then for the secondary, we'll do a metal. But how will that look? Yeah, how about the secondary? The metal is like that. Now we have to see if... It, it looks like it's tritoned, which I, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. But maybe we should correct the striping on the side by the door. The trim. And get me some blue calipers, man. There we go. And what is the trim color? What am I looking at here? Um... Yeah, I think a gray. A gray will look nice and, you know, the, the lights and all that stuff. But here we go. The chassis. This is what I'm talking about. Do we want the painted... Do we want the painted trim? No. I think it breaks it up. Yeah, it breaks it up. I, I actually like that. But now, oh man, this is a tough one. Okay, now here it is fully customized out in the real world. I think it looks beautiful. It's a really good looking car. You know, when you park this next to other vehicles, you start to realize, oh, okay, that's why it's uh, four million dollars. You know, you just, <laughs> it's just in a completely different uh, world, design-wise. And um, I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to take it out on the highway and we're going to see how fast it can actually go. I have a feeling it's not going to be game-breaking. I think it's still going to be within the realm of Grand Theft Auto uh, speed limits, but let's give it a test. Here we go. Wow, not even, uh, not even 130 yet. Okay. There we go. We hit about 135 there for a second. There we go, 136. It is so much more enjoyable to drive when nobody else is on the road. Going down the hill, we hit a little over 140. Man, this thing is moving, though, for a car restricted to uh, GTA handling. This is where we belong. One of the $15 million beachfront homes. No, those are... Uh, that was a country club. Whatever they call them. A resort? I don't know, man. I'm not within the upper echelon of income where I, <laughs> I'm familiar. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what the hell? Why are you in the middle of a blizzard? And I always kind of found it so funny to put hypercars, you know, high-end cars in an environment that was, uh, I guess, completely unnatural to them, completely unorthodox, considering that a lot of these cars, you know, in the real world, they go to a car show three or four times a year, and then they sit in someone's garage, which makes sense because they're multi-million dollar cars, but this is Grand Theft Auto, so we're going to take it on a little more of a rigorous drive. <laughs> it looks awesome, 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 awesome in the snow. If only we could have, what, what do they call them, one of those little, uh... Like the suitcases that go on top. Oh, I know. The aero box. Can I slip through here? Alrighty. Watch out, dude. You're trailering stuff. If I break down, I gotta pull my car into that guy's trailer. We got some tractors going. Ooh. That was a close call. Well, there it is, man. The Nero per sport. Really a beautiful car. When you drive past, well, I guess any other car on the road, they just look utterly pedestrian because of the design of these, you know, hypercars, man. And, you know, there are other hypercar companies out there or, you know, new and emerging ones that try as hard as they can to, to look wild. There's a car that came out that's actually 
asymmetrical. And, you know, Bugatti just has a knack for making a real quality car, uh, you know, uh, of this pedigree. Because other companies try to do it, and it's just like, uh, I don't know, man. Four million for a Bugatti is just absolutely insane, but at least they have a reputation. The other companies, you just... I don't know. It's like the price tag comes first, and then you have to be convinced as to why you would ever pay that much for a car that's unheard of uh, with a lesser quality. But yeah, there it is, and uh, I'll see you next video.